Hi, I'm Kristenista Health, and I'm here to talk to you today about egg and sperm quality and how to improve them and also how to prevent pregnancy loss. Previously, I've spoken about the benefits of symptothermal birth control, especially this book, Taking Charge of Your Fertility. Now, the cool thing is that once you decide to have a child, you can easily flip-flop the method and you more easily can become pregnant. Now, one thing that I discovered was that, unfortunately, as we age, our egg and sperm quality can decline and this can cause pregnancy loss. So I didn't realize that as a mature mother, you would need to prepare at least 90 to 120 days in advance. And also your partner would need to prepare as well. And ancient cultures, sure. they, they knew that you had to do this preparation, but somehow we've lost sight of it. And that can more easily lead to chromosomal abnormalities, which can lead to loss. One book that has been instrumental in helping me with my egg quality is the book, It Starts With the Egg. Many people are familiar with this book once they start to get into their pregnancy journey as a mature parent. Um, but it is an excellent book. I will say though that it is full of a ton of information. It's, it's almost overwhelming. So you do have to kind of take it with a grain of salt and just do the best that you can to prepare your egg and sperm quality, balancing that with a joyful lifestyle that's not, full, you don't feel like you're just full of restrictions and you're living this horribly restricted life. It talks in one chapter about how to improve sperm quality, but most of the book is about improving egg quality because generally it is the woman that's having more of the sharp decline and also the woman who's usually more interested in the whole process. So first I'm going to cover some of the sperm quality supplements. We have a good multivitamin with menthol folate. This is Naturello, DHA. Also L-carnitine, this helps with their mitochondrial health. R-lipoic acid and ubiquinol. This is an excellent version of the ubiquinol. And this also helps with mitochondrial health. Mitochondrial health is superb in supreme in improving egg and sperm quality. So you will see that both in the male and female supplements. So for the female supplements, I have a thorn prenatal, and this also has methylfolate in it. Also have Sleep Essentials, which has melatonin in it. Now she doesn't recommend this specific brand, but I like this one because it's good for going to sleep. I don't know, it's always helped me sleep. And it has the melatonin that she recommended for egg quality. Also, like I said, the Gero Ubiquinol. Vitamin E is important for antioxidant. Then we also have vitamin C, which is important for antioxidants. NAC, also important for antioxidants. And then we have vitamin D. Vitamin D is super important in egg quality. So if you are familiar with some of these supplements, there's a big emphasis on antioxidant because a lot of the reason why the egg quality declines is because um, of oxidative stress. So we want to try to have as much antioxidants as possible. And then also we want to encourage mitochondrial health as well. So there's also supplements that aren't on this list that I took that were specifically aimed towards those two uh, specific issues. Now, another thing which is good is to have nourishing foods. And I like this book, Real Food for Pregnancy by Lily Nichols. And it's for pregnancy, but honestly, if you're preparing for pregnancy, you're focusing on a lot of the same nutrient dense foods. And she follows kind of like a paleo or Weston A. Price sort of nutrient dense food philosophy. And so I think it's very helpful also for preparing for pregnancy as well as in pregnancy and also postpartum. 
Another thing that really helped me is I participated in a program, Fertility for the Soul. It was all about trying to optimize your health, mentally, physically, emotionally, in all aspects, trying to have optimum health because whenever we're trying to have a child and it's becoming difficult, sometimes we can get into this spiral of all, I'm constricted, I'm, I have to follow all these guidelines and I'm not successful and you can just spiral downwards very quickly. And so the program was all about, let's try to live life to the fullest. Let's be healthy. Let's be happy. Let's be joyful and find things that fulfill us. Even if we can't have a child, even if we never have a child, just finding fulfillment in your life with what you do have. So I highly recommend that program as well, but you know, you don't have to necessarily buy expensive supplements. It's mostly about improving your health. Oh, another big thing was HIT. So H I I T highly improves mitochondrial health. So I also did a lot of HIT. Well, you don't actually have to do a lot. Um, the beautiful thing about HIT is you can do 20 minutes a day. It's about short bursts of high quality energy. So that also is supposed to influence mitochondrial health. So anything you can research about anti aging mitochondrial health will help you in your quest to have a child. So I wish you well. I hope that you aren't out there struggling with pregnancy loss or um, inability to get pregnant. I know that it's really tough and I hope that these tips will help you.